In this video, we'll continue stating theorems about linear dependence and independence. These theorems together is that they relate dependence and independence to vectors in a set being linear combinations of each other. Theorem. If we have a two-vector set, that set is linearly dependent if and only if one of the vectors in the set is a constant multiple of the other vector. And let's prove that real quick. Let's start by showing that if this set is dependent, then one of the vectors is a constant multiple of the other. So let's say that this set is dependent. By definition, that means we can find a non-trivial linear combination of these vectors that equals zero. Now being non-trivial, means that one of these coefficients at least is not zero without loss of generality. Let's suppose that a one isn't to zero. The proof is going to go through the other way if a two isn't zero. Well, if a1 isn't zero, we can take the v2 over to the right and multiply by the reciprocal of a sub one, since a sub one is not zero. There is no chance this gives us a division by zero error. And V one is a constant multiple of V two. Going the other direction. Let's say that one of these vectors is a constant multiple of the other. So Again, without loss of generality, let's say that V1 is a constant multiple of V2. Then one V1 plus negative C v2 equals zero. This is a non-trivial linear combination. We definitely have at least one non-zero term. So having a non-trivial linear combination equal to zero is the definition of dependence. 
thus we have proved this theorem. What if we have more than two vectors? Theorem. A set of vectors is dependent if and only if at least one vector in the set is a linear combination of the other vectors in the set. And let's go through the proof, but let's do this kind of fast because it's very similar to the proof we just saw. Let's assume that this set is dependent. Then by definition, there is a non-trivial linear combination equal to zero. Now, by the non-triviality of that, at least one of these coefficients is not to zero. And the argument will pass through the same way, no matter which of these coefficients is not to zero. And of course, maybe more than one of them are non-zero. That's, for example, assume that this first coefficient is not to zero. Then just as in the previous proof, we'll take our um, other terms over to the right. And since C1 is not to zero, we can multiply both sides of this equality by one divided by C1. And we find that at least one of the vectors in the set is a linear combination of the other vectors in the set. Now we'll go the other way. We'll assume that a vector in the set is a linear combination of the other vectors. And again, this argument we're about to make will work the same no matter which vector vector is a linear combination of the others without loss of generality. Maybe it's a V sub one. That's a linear combination of the others. Then just as we did in the previous proof, We'll take all the vectors to the same side of the equality, and we'll observe that having this one here means that this linear combination is definitely non trivial. So the set is dependent, just like we wanted. A word of warning about this theorem. This theorem says that if a set is dependent, at least one vector in the set is a linear combination of the rest of the vectors vectors in the set. It doesn't say any more than that. And in particular, it does not say that every vector in the set is a linear combination of the other vectors. For example, this set is dependent. How do I know it's dependent? Because one of the vectors in this set is a linear combination of the other vectors.
vectors. It's dependent. One of the vectors is a linear combination of the others. However, this third vector, one zero, is not. a linear combination of zero, one, and zero, two. How do I know that? Because any linear combination of these two vectors would have a zero in the first component, not a one. So this set is dependent, but going back to this warning, here's a vector in the set that is not a linear combination of the other two vectors.